What's up guys and welcome to the video. So special thanks to Hoshek Motor Mercedes-Benz dealer. It's located in Brno in Czech Republic and also here is a AMG Performance Center. This is C43 AMG Coupe and yes, it is with AMG Performance exhaust and this specific car is in brilliant blue color. So guys, this will be full review, exterior interior and exhaust note. So if you enjoy this video, if you like this content, then please subscribe. Turn the notification bell on and if you have any more questions leave them in the comments section down below so yeah guys let's start so in the front we can see double blade twin blade amg grill and these like aero bits but those are not working only this on the side which is going through but these are blind multi beam LED full LED headlights and yeah this is brilliant blue color this is the key it can be also in white color and also in gloss black On the side you can see by turbo formatic badge black mirrors cameras for assists this is panoramic roof helix entry little spoiler on the boot lid So this version is like an entry AMG for C-Class, then you have also 63 AMG and 63 S, the most powerful one. So this has four exhaust pipes and diffuser in gloss black. And I really like how this looks. You can see a head-up display here. So let's check out these tires. So these are Dunlop Sport Max run flat tires, I believe RT. And these are 255 35 R19, so 19 inch wheels. I really like the design of these rims. So let's check out the engine space. So this is the V6 3 liter AMG engine and it produces 390 horsepower and there is also 9G speed shift gearbox, so 9 gears and this car can sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds so exactly the same as a 35 AMG and this has 90 horsepower more but also is heavy car so this is AMG entry model and in 63 or 63 S you have hand-built engine from a falter back Germany windshield wipers are hidden a little bit here and on this side is car battery 
So even this is entry AMG level car. It's quite powerful and this would be great daily AMG. And maybe you need to know, maybe you know, 43 AMG can be only as a formatic and 63 can be only as rear wheel drive. So if you need car which you want will drive also in during winter, then you want this car, not the 63. I mean, you can drive 63 on snow tires, but if it's heavy snow, then uh, this will be better for heavy snow. All right, guys, so check out, let's check out the interior by Turbo Formatic. And you have this nice animation of the C-Class carbon fiber decor. So this is the facelifted C-Class and it has this digital interior with new 12 inch multimedia display. So it really looks nice. It's in old instrument cluster. So if you like old style instrument cluster, but you want new digital interior, and then this is a great car for you so let's put it in a sport plus and let's start the car also as i said this car has a performance exhaust so this button so the startup is quite loud So this is the new AMG steering wheel with AMG logo and the red stripe on the top. More straight on the sides or flat. And with this panel, you control this instrument cluster. And with this, you control the command. So I'm going to show you now what you can set here. So you can set different style. Right now it's in sport. You can have it in super sport. And also you can have it in a classic. So my favorite is super sport then sport and last would be the classic and it really looks great with the speedo it's like a 3d because uh, take a look at the numbers they have like a shadow behind them so it looks like it's a 3d really great design from AMG so what you can set here is let's take a look from this side service so you can see if you have some error messages you would see them here tire pressure but you need to drive for that this is for service coolant consumption assistance this is for the extronic and attention assist if you need a brake performance G force then settings for the car suspension exhaust stabilization and boost
what's up guys Ivan here and this is the new facelifted Mercedes AMG C63S Coupe so this is the new facelift model in beautiful design of graphite grey magno color which is a matte color and it looks uh, from the beginning you can maybe think it looks like a matte black but in reality it's more like a maybe satin black or matte grey this car has a characteristic Panamericana grille in the front as you can see and it looks very wide thanks to the wider front wheel arches and now view from the side it has very beautiful coupe shape and this is just a gorgeous car and very nice facelift so the car looks even better than before and it has a lot of improvements also in the interior so wait for that later in the video I will show you so you can see it is very wide, uh, a lot wider than a standard car and also wider than C43 AMG and these are the daylight running stripe and also the new multi-beam LED lights on Americana grille you have also the large air intakes in the front this car has a night package so some of these parts would be chrome if you don't have a night package so as you can see here, these are the multi-beam LED headlights, the uh, LED headlights which can cut out the ongoing traffic very nicely, so you don't bind others, but you see the most possible, you have the best visibility, you have the MG logo in the front, a grill, and these are the intakes, this black part would be chrome if you don't have the uh, night package. Also you can see some other bits for the diffuser, this is like an integrated front lip uh, into the front bumper and from the side if we take a look at this uh, front you can see it is it has like a cut front so it has a very aggressive even from the side and the, the, these multi-beam LED headlights consist from three parts one is a main headlight as you can see it has like a blue graphics and then you have two separate projectors and yeah they can cut out as I said ongoing traffic they also look gorgeous a lot better than the standard high performance LED headlights you have these two power domes in the bonnet in the hood it looks a lot more aggressive with it so yeah, just a gorgeous car, now the sun is out, you can see more than this is a grey color and these are also these forged wheels these are in satin black or matte black color and you have like a silver lip around the wheel so with the AMG logo also in silver, center cap you have also and the carbon ceramic brakes which are optional brakes, these are the best brakes with the bronze or gold calipers they are drilled for ventilation, you have a Michelin Pilot Sport cup to tires which are sticky tires, uh, very good tires 255, 35, 19 inch and in the back we have larger tires V8 by turbo sign in the front fender the mirror caps are in uh, black color with the carbon package you can have them also in carbon and the trim around the window is also in black because of the night package so when we open the fuel cover you can see this car needs 19 octane minimum and also the tire pressure at certain speeds you can see it there so if you open the bonnet you need to release this yes and if you open this bonnet you can see this magnificent engine so this is the 4.0 liter V8 bi turbo engine this is a v with a hot V setup with two turbochargers this is the man which handcrafted this engine in a Falterbach and this engine produces 510 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque 375 kilowatts from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour it can sprint in 3.9 seconds and to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds so this is really fast vehicle you have also the 250 kilometers per hour which is electronically limited top speed but with the optional AMG drivers package you can push this uh, speed to 290 km per hour so this engine is coupled with AMG Speedshift MCT 9-speed transmission multi-clutch transmission 
and it has very short response times. You can also see the reservoir for the windshield wipers for the fluid and on the other side you have a car battery as I'm going to show you now. So this is a cover for the car battery and maybe you didn't know every AMG engine every uh, part has like a QR code and that is digitally archivated so if you have a problem with the with some part they can backtrace it and they can solve the problem much quicker thanks to that method so now we can close the bonnet and now we can take a look at the rear part of the vehicle so I reparked the car so we can see it better from this angle and this paint is just magnificent so I just want to let you know that with this paint if you scratch or if someone scratches with just one panel you need to repaint the whole car and that's because this is a matte paint so not just this specific color but the method the matte paint so you can see on the left side you have an MG badge and on the right side you have a C63S badge and only the S model has the race mode so if you want race mode you need the S model of the C63S coupe so we have four exhaust pipes which are in black because of the night package and they have MG logo on the exhaust tips it looks really nice this is a tow hook and you have a four exhaust pipes total they are like a cosmetic pipes the real exhaust is behind them and you can see this is a new diffuser so with the facelift you have much more aggressive and diffuser and yeah just gorgeous you have a little lip on the boot so yeah this is a really nice detail this lip is not huge it's very subtle but it is very nice to complement the performance so here you have uh, two cameras for the distronic and also for the lights for the multi beams and for the other assists so just a gorgeous car you have also the side screen in black because of the night package and this is the panoramic roof which I will show you in the inside all the details and in the back you have the body color so let's now open the doors and check out this magnificent and gorgeous interior so as you can see the new steering wheel and digital panels and these are the comfort seats really nice black AMG Napa leather and the Falterbach headrest logo so just magnificent illuminated AMG door trim okay so I just want to show you what is new from the distance from the rear seats and if you're curious if I have uh, enough space here then watch and see so these are the new di digital screens instrument cluster and this is the command system you have new steering wheel with these hotkeys and you can see this decor here and yeah this is beautiful new steering wheel a new style and that's that so now I can show you that in a close-up from the front seat so let's go for the loud startup as I, as I showed you you need to turn the ignition on then you need to put it in a race mode or sport plus and when you start the button you need to hold uh, the flappy pedal upshift pedal so let's do it so yeah that's the loudest setting we can put it back into comfort all right guys so let's check the interior of this beast mode car so this is AMG Nappa leather in black color very soft and very nice leather this is aluminium door trim and these are the memory seats fully electric seats seat heating seat ventilation and Burmester sound speaker ventilation these are the settings for the assistance so this is the distronic and distronic plus you have uh, settings for the lights parking lights on each side these are parking lights automatic lights and these are the main beams this is the new style steering wheel so as you can see this is a flat on the bottom and flat on the sides this is a dual combination of a dynamica 
which is here on the sides and down is an upper ladder. You have here also this at 12 o'clock, this uh, silver part. New style uh, instrument cluster, digital instrument cluster, 12.3 inch and also 12.3 inch uh, command system. All right, so with this part on the steering wheel, you control the instrument panel. And with this one, you control the command system. So these are the optional hotkeys. So you can change the dynamic select the driving style of the vehicle when you turn it. And it has a little display. And you can also see the RPMs rise when you go to Sport Plus. So this is the toggle for the indicators. And you can press this button and you will have a windshield washer. You can also flash on someone with this toggle. As you can see here, you can see how this looks from the behind. It's very nice interior, it's, it's fantastic. So yeah, just best in class, I think. All right guys, so that's it for this review. I'm very happy that I could bring you this full in-depth review, exterior, interior and infotainment. So guys, if you like this video, then share it with your friends, like this and also subscribe to the channel for plenty more videos. There are coming a lot exciting videos to the channel, also from other countries, not just Slovakia and Czech Republic. So stay tuned for that. So guys, that's it. And as always, have a great day.